St. Talith Arius of Turini, died c. 532, is venerated as a saint and considered the first bishop of Turini. The Catholic Encyclopedia writes that historically there is very little known about Street Talith Arius, but he was without doubt the first bishop of Turini. Tradition makes him a lifelong friend of Street Medridus, and the two saints had been courtiers before becoming bishops. Elith Arius was probably named Bishop of Turini after Street Remigius organized the church hierarchy of northern Gaul at the end of the 5th century. Some sermons on the Trinity, Nativity, and the Feast of the Annunciation, Bibliad the Capatrum, Volume 15, are falsely attributed to him. Martyrdom, Elith Arius is venerated as a martyr although this legend is considered an invention of the canon priest Henry of Turini, who wrote a vita of Elith Arius in 1141. At the end of the 11th century the Church of Turini had been trying to become independent from the Diocese of Non, and Henri had been motivated by the need to prove the antiquity of the Church of Turini. Catholic Online repeats the legend that a group of Arians enraged by his preaching beat him severely he died some weeks later. Henri's account states that Elith Arius was a native of Chernai who was born during the reign of Childric I. Elith Arius' parents were Christians and were named Tyrannus and Blanda. Tyrannus was a descendant in the family of Irenaeus of Leon. Persecutions of Christians forced the family to flee to a village named Blandinium, Blondane, but after the conversion of Clovis to Christianity, the family built a church at Blandinium, Blandine. Elith Arius eventually became Bishop of Turini, and was consulted by Pope Hormsdas on the matter of eradicating Arianism. Elith Arius convened a church council and argued effectively against the Arians, who were angered by this. One day, as he was going to church, he was beaten up by a group of Arians and left for dead. He subsequently died from the wounds he received, on his deathbed confiding his flock to Mendertus. Veneration There exists a testimony recording the recovery of his relics during the episcopate of Bishop Adilo of Turini in 897 or 898. Bishop Baudouin translated Elith Arius relics in 1064 or 1065. Elith Arius relics were translated again in 1247, when the great reliquary shrine was commissioned by Bishop Walter de Marvis. In its gable and st Elith Arius appears holding his crozier in one hand and in the other a model of the cathedral with its five spires. The monastery of St. Martin at Turni and the Cathedral of Bruges also claims some of the saint's relics.